हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द वर्चुअल क्लास ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड कास्टिंग इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑल वेराइंसिस रिलेटेड टू वेरिएबल ओवर हेड्स एंड फिक्सड ओवर हेड्स टूडे इन दिस सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस एन एग्जॉस्टिव क्वेश्चन विथ ओवर हेड्स वेराइंसिस इट मीन्स इन दिस क्वेश्चन I will include variable overhead variances as well as fixed overhead variances. Before watching this session, it is necessary for you to watch lecture number eleven to lecture number seventeen, because in this session I would like to give you basic hints for the solution. As I don't want to discuss question in full. because we have already discussed everything in lecture number 11 to lecture number 17 so this is my humble request to all of you to watch lecture number 11 to lecture number 17 carefully before watching this session let us understand the question first calculate all possible variances related to overheads particular budgeted data actual data output 30000 units budgeted 32500 units actual fixed overheads rupees of 45000 rupees 50000 working hours 30000 hours budgeted and 33000 hours actual working days 25 and 26 variable overheads rupees 60000 And rupees sixty eight thousand. In this question, information related to fixed overheads and variable overheads are given. It means we are in the condition to calculate variances related to variable overheads as well as fixed overheads. Only the information of IT is not given. So. for this question we can calculate both kinds of overheads variances let me give you the hint for the solution first of all we have to calculate variable overheads variances you can say it is part 1 of your answer from the question given by the examiner we have to find out informations that we need to calculate all three variable overheads variances that is variable overhead cost variance variable overhead rate variance and variable overhead efficiency variance for the calculation of variable overheads variances we are in need of these three informations for budgeted data and actual data first of all we need output for budgeted data it is 30000 units actual output 32500 units working hours budgeted 30000 actual 33000 and variable overheads budgeted rupees 60000 and actual rupees 68000 these informations are enough to calculate variable overheads variances we don't want each and every item given in the question in order to calculate variable overheads variances so first of all prepare part 1 of your answer that is all about variable overheads variances prepare the table and insert the required data after after preparation of this table you can easily calculate variable overhead cost variance variable overheads rate variance and variable overheads efficiency variance how to calculate all three variances related to variable overheads that i have discussed in lecture number 11 onwards 
that is why i told you to watch lecture number 11 to lecture number 17 first this is all about first part of your answer second part of your answer is related to fixed overheads variances first of all it is necessary for you to identify the information that you need for fixed overheads we are in need of items related to calculation of all six or seven as many as possible variances related to fixed overheads so i have made all the information in a separate table particular budgeted data actual data for the calculation of fixed overheads variance we are in need of output so i have inserted in the table 30000 units 32500 units fixed overheads obviously we need this information because we need to calculate all the variances related to fixed overheads rupees of 45000 budgeted while actual is 50000 working hours remain same in both 30000 hours and 33000 hours in addition to this information we also need information related to days and it is given by the examiner in the question which was useless at the time of calculation of variable overheads variance but for fixed overheads variance we are in need of information related to days if it is given budgeted 25 days actual 26 days we need one more information if it is given that is it but information of it is not given otherwise information of it is also included in the calculation of fixed overheads of variances we have completed so many questions earlier so uh, as it's a very easy for you to understand that it is affecting calculation of fixed overheads of variance now we have compiled the data from the question related to fixed overheads of variances now calculate all five basic items budgeted rate per unit budgeted rate per hour budgeted rate per day budgeted hours for actual output and budgeted days for actual output and one by one calculate all the variances fixed overheads cost variance second fixed overheads budget or expense variance third fixed overheads volume variance fourth fixed overheads calendar variance fifth fixed overheads capacity variance information of unproductive time is not given otherwise number 6 will be influenced but here we are not supposed to worry for this thing number 6 fixed overheads efficiency variance seventh it variance is not possible as the information is not given so if you have watched question number 11 or lecture number 11 to lecture number 17 very carefully it is very easy for you to divide this question in two part for the purpose of solution i hope everyone is clear with the mechanism of the solution of this problem thank you god bless you keep learning keep growing